Hello everyone, this is Manuel Castillo Lopez presenting a real-time approach for chance-constrained motion planning with dynamic obstacles. Autonomous robots are expected to revolutionize many industries, such as construction, transportation, or even space exploration. However, to target an industry where different robots and humans are meant to share the same space, our algorithms need to provide safety and efficiency guarantees. Navigating autonomously in these kind of environments involves a great challenge. We may face a significant number of obstacles, and we can only estimate where they are and where they are expected to be, but not exactly. Dealing with these uncertainties is a challenging problem in most robotics applications, including motion planning and control. During the last decade, a major effort has been made to provide optimal motion planning with safety guarantees. For the sake of computational efficiency, most approaches exploit the fact that linear Gaussian chance constraints have a closed form solution. The main limitation is that we are restricted to use linear chance constraints to ensure safety. Therefore, previous work has modeled obstacle space either by a polyhedron or by a nonlinear surface, which has to be linearized at each sample time. Well, the fact is that both of them present significant limitations for consistent motion planning in real time. On the one hand, polyhedrons require combinatorial optimization, which is computationally expensive and scales exponentially with the number of obstacles. On the other hand, linearized surfaces criti critically reduces our planning capabilities, and when we increase the number of obstacles, it becomes hard to find feasible solutions without running into local minima. We propose a new approach that benefits from both strategies. To illustrate it, let's consider a single robot and multiple obstacles with possibly nonlinear dynamics and additive Gaussian noise. We generate our free configuration space by defining a bounding box per obstacle for which the robot is collision free. Given the stochastic nature of the different agents, we can only enforce safety in a probabilistic sense, taking the form of a collision free chance constraint. This constraint is enforcing that the probability of collision remains below the parameter alpha which can be tuned to reach the level of conservatism required by the specific application. Since each of the phases represent a linear constraint, we can obtain the deterministic equivalent bounding box, rep as represented in orange. By now, we have a disjunctive constraint that ensures that the probability of collision remains below the risk level alpha. However, we still need to rely on combinatorial optimization to solve the optimal control problem. So we approximate it by its minimum volume enclosing ellipsoid, which for a bounding box, it has a closed form solution. This way, we avoided surface linearization and combinatorial optimization while preserving the original safety guarantees. This simple approximation has a major impact on the computational tractability of the solution. Instead of combinatorial optimization, our approach sits on nonlinear optimization for which we can exploit the efficiency and scalability of gradient-based solvers such as IPOPT. The main drawback of this approach is that we restrict our obstacles to be defined by bounding boxes or infinite planes. In addition, we lose some space due to the ellipsoidal approximation. However, in practice, this is a small price to pay, especially for moving obstacles. Now, we move into the experimental validation of our approach. We design three experiments on an aerial robot to avoid obstacles with modern predictive control. In the first experiment, we design a one obstacle motion planning benchmark with three state-of-the-art approaches, the combinatorial approach of Blackmore and others, the linearization approach of Zoo and Alonso Mora, and the robots approach of Camel and others. As we can see, our approach solves a conservative approximation of Blackmore's solution over 142 times faster at the price of 4% on optimality. Our computation fits in the range of real-time methods while reducing their conservativeness and their tendency to fall into local minima. The second one is a real experiment with two pedestrians who naturally walk inside a closed area where the robot is operating. As we can see, when the pedestrians intend to occupy the robot's safe space, evasive trajectories are planned and executed while tracking a fixed reference point position at the center of the room. To simulate localization and detection, we use a motion capture system 
and predefined bounding boxes to bound each agent. Then we employ a unicycle model and an extended Kalman filter to estimate and propagate pedestrians positions. We do the same thing to propagate robots covariance, but we reuse the plan trajectory as the nominal pose. Of course, there are different ways to propagate uncertainty, but this approach presents a nice balance between tractability and performance. In the third experiment, we challenge our algorithm to scale well on a more complex environment. We employ the PetSim package, which is based on Helvin's social force model to simulate 40 pedestrians in an open environment. They follow a predefined square path with bifurcations, setting the robot to fly against the crowd at 1.5 meters per second. As we can see, the robot is able to handle the increased complexity with median control delay of 4.2 milliseconds. Unlike previous real-time approaches, our algorithm inherently accounts for the risk associated to a larger number of obstacles. With therefore, it results in a more conservative behavior. With this publication, we provide a framework to perform optimal motion planning with safety guarantees in fast real-time mobile robots, such as self-driving cars or drones. In the future, we will continue working in this direction to make certifiably safe optimal motion planners a reality. Thank you all.